Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Got a quick te tech tip for you today. We're going to cover checking the oil on your soft tail. Now this is Evo and Twin Cam soft tail, so it's 84 to 17. Uh, it's the same procedure for both of them. So right here is your oil tank. And I'm gonna grab a clean rag here. Whoop. Right here is your dipstick for that oil tank. Wipe it off a little bit. Harley says you should check your oil while the engine is hot. You don't really need it to be hot, so to speak. It's a dry sump system. So here's what happens. This is where your oil sits while the bike is running. Um, and what happens is while the bike is off, a little bit of this oil will start draining down from the oil bag or the oil tank itself or the remote reservoir, and it will drain down into the bottom of the engine case. So if your bike's been sitting for a week and you come out there and you go check your oil, it might be accurate when you pull the dipstick out or it might read like super low. Then if it reads super low, you add oil, you start the bike up, now there's too much oil in the system and it overflows out your fill cap. So what you wanna do, first things first, have the bike over on the kickstand. It is sitting on the lift right now, but I do have it lean towards me. It, essentially it's on the kickstand, but with ratchet straps. So it is lean towards me on the kickstand or the jiffy stand as they call it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start up and we're gonna let it run for like 30 seconds or so. And what happens is if you look down in there with a flashlight while it's running, you'll be able to see the oil start circulating around. If you're starting this thing up cold, you might actually be able to see the oil rise up on there. But once you start seeing a notable circulation, you'll see it rise up a little bit, give it a few more seconds and you can turn the oil off or turn the engine off. That's all you're really after before you check it. So let's fire the bike up. Now, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna wipe the dipstick off. Now on a lot of dipsticks, you're gonna have two little marks on here that will show full or hot, low and high. Uh, this is an aftermarket dipstick that has a temperature gauge on it and it doesn't really show it on there. So what you're aiming for is somewhere to a third to halfway up this dipstick. It'd be really bad if nothing shows up on the dipstick. So with that in mind, we'll then push her back down in there, then pull her back out. And right there, our oil is sitting about a third of the way up the dipstick. That's pretty good. So the oil, the engine oil in this thing is good and we're ready to go ride. Just put that back in there. 